Hey everyone, Spin Pixie here, and I have a w really quick video I wanted to put out there because I have a theory that I want to run by you guys and um, see what your reaction to it is. So, I was out and about today and I was talking to a friend of mine and they were talking about blockages that they were having and about how somebody said that they would have to get these blockages removed, like as far as, you know, spiritual spirituality, things that were hindering this person. And they didn't go in depth, we didn't really talk a whole lot about it, but it just kind of led me to think of a few things, and I just wanted to share this theory with you guys, and I wanted to um, see what you guys thought of it. So, a lot of people say things like, oh, I'm such an idiot, oh, I'm so stupid, I forgot to do this or that. And a lot of people, you know, also say things like, oh, I'm never going to find the perfect man or woman or whatever. I'm never going to, you know, no one's ever going to love me. I'm never going to have a, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, a lot of people say these things. And sometimes they're really offhanded and kind of like um, just quick little quips at themselves. And they don't really think much of it. It's just how they feel at the present time. And when you feel something negative about yourself, you really feel that negativity. Like, gosh, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm this and that, and my career is not going anywhere, and blah, blah, blah. And you think about stuff like that, and you really feel that emotion. Like, happiness and stuff like that, it's a little harder for you. You have to really be in that moment to feel it. But negativity, even when you're not really feeling negative, you can really feel that emotion because it's a low vibrating emotion. So anyway, what we do when we say these negative things about ourselves or we put these negative futures into our lives, we're sending out this energy and it's going to into the astral. It's just going. Um, and over time, this energy, like you're sending it out there with the name, I am never, and you know what you mean, I, is yourself. I am never going to, I cannot, blah, 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 you know, and you're sending this out there and you're basically, what you're doing is you're giving this energy a name, which essentially becomes you in the astral world. Um, and so what happens is, is you kind of sort of unknowingly are creating your own servitor, but this isn't so much a servitor for positivity or for doing anything good. This is a negative servitor and all of, all this servitor um, stands to do is throw that negativity back at you and cast that negativity in the astral into your physical being. And this is sometimes the reason I think that people, when you meet people, they have a really negative ick about them. It could be like just them, you know, it could be the fact that they're just, you know, not good people. But it could also be their anti-them throwing their crap back at them. And especially if you're somebody who has like a return to sender spell or a reflection um, type of protection on you, when you throw that stuff out about you, it magic doesn't say, oh, that came from them, let me just leave it alone. No, it's going to throw it back at you even harder because that's what you have set your spell out to do. So you are creating a negative servitor in the astral which radiates back on you all of this ick and it's a vicious circle because as it radiates more of that self-doubt and negativity onto you you sink you become downtrodden you start drowning in the muck that is this thing you've created and it's becoming bloated and feeding off of all of that negativity and it just gets bigger as you delve deeper into your angst and your self-loathing and I think that this happens more often than we realize. So not only does it cast this negativity on us, it also blocks us from doing anything. And the only way to get rid of this negativity, this beast that we're creating, is to learn to be positive about ourselves and who we are. Because especially if you're a conduit of energy like a witch, um, or any kind of healer like a light worker, you're conducting the energy, you're basically telling it where to go, which is how creating this anti you happens because you're giving it a direction and that's you. That's I, me, whatever you want to call it. And you're putting it into this being. So what you have to do is try and step outside of that 
and remove that negativity about yourself and change the way that you feel about yourself and not just say that you do and not just pretend to, you really have to feel it. Just like you feel that negativity, you have to feel the change happening to your, your, your values of yourself in a positive light. And so I wanted to share this theory with you guys because I think I totally believe that when you're throwing this negativity out, you are creating an anti-you. And this anti-you only serves to tear you down. Um, and I know that no one likes to hear that they're doing things to themselves, especially if it's bad. No one likes to hear this and, and it might be true. Your worst enemy is you if you are doing this to yourself. You know, it's not anything external and no one has... And that's the other thing. You're thinking people might have cursed you or you're just cursed, you're born under a bad sign. You know, you must have been like someone horrid in a past life. Stuff like that. You know, because your life is so horrible. Like, I know people have uttered those things. I myself have uttered some of those things. But the thing is, is that once I changed... And it was small. I started small. But once I changed how I felt about myself, it, you know, I've, I'm like, it, things are different for me. Things are really, really different for me. They're different for me magically. They're different for me in life. They're different for me, period. Um, so I just want to get your thoughts on my theory. So I'm going to go ahead and go. I have my Planet Pathlings video to do, and I have some other stuff I have to do. So I will see you guys next time. Many blessings, and thanks for watching. Bye.